Hello everyone. This is Dr. Anam Zaheer and we are back with episode 70 of Instagram Live Guest Talk with Homeopathy Heals. I hope you all are doing well, happy, peaceful, working hard, taking good care of yourself. Hi Aknik, very good morning. Okay, so today I'll be the speaker, I'll be the host, so you have to bear with me for a couple of minutes. I'm so good Mr. Sengar. So today's topic, I've been asked a lot, a lot about how to start homeopathic practice, how to start homeopathic clinic, what are the do's and don'ts, things we need to keep in our mind. So we'll be having this live, I'll be, I'll try to clear your questions as well and uh, save this IGTV video next time before you set up your clinic. So <clears throat> I'll be completing today's topic in few points. Uh, so let me brief you about the today's topic. First of all, we'll make a business plan. Second, how and we need to get our homeopathic drug license. Number three, we need to make a financial plan. Okay, there is, uh, first of all, I need to clear this that business ka naam bura nahi hai. So business ka matlab aisa bilkul bhi nahi hai ke you are ruthlessly earning by cutting people. Logo ne business word ko itna use kiya hai ke they have used it, you know, in a negative way. Kare to business kar raha hai. Business is a good thing. We grow with the business. What you cannot get by, uh, by while doing a job or a service, you can do, um, you can achieve while having business. Okay. So how to make a financial plan? Finding a location and name of a store, hiring homeopathic practitioners, professionals, making the list of equipments, how you need to set up accounting system and branding as well. Now, I'll be moving to very first and very important. It is how to register a homeopathic clinic. For example, I am a BHMS student and uh, I want to start my clinic. Before starting about this, that how to register a homeopathic clinic, I get lot of questions that ma'am we have just uh, completed our final year or we are in internship, whether to, whether we need to do MD or we need to start our practice right away or go for an observation. See, I'll tell you, this is a completely person choice to do, to pursue MD or not. There's no point of asking me, okay, ma'am, whether we can pursue MD or not. Hey, na? There are so many things which we need to take care. For example, not everyone is financially stable to go for a more three-year post-graduation higher study. Some people have to earn for their bread and butter. They come from a middle-class family and they're turning 25, 26 while completing their medicine. So definitely they can go for a job. Some people, they, you know, just, just because they need to earn Quickly, within a short span of time, they move to modern medicine, they become RMO in a hospital or they start allopathic practice, which so many states allow. So that's completely fine for everyone. Definitely higher studies will not bring a, a designation like MD home to your name or to your visiting card, but definitely polishes your personality, make you out of the box, make you think out of the box, make you stand out of the crowd. Okay. So definitely doing MD is so good, but you need to uh, take decision according to your circumstances and situation. If you are capable enough, if you think you're capable enough to start your practice right away, as soon as you complete your BHMS and your internship, go ahead, don't stop because it has also its own pros. If for three years of MD, if you invest in your practice in three years, your practice will boom like anything. I have so many colleagues those who haven't done MD and when I was doing my MD, MD first year, MD second year, by my MD third year when my practice was not even started, they used to consult 100 to 150 patients in a day and even in a small clinic they had a huge rush even at the road, my batch. And there are so many good examples of that. So that's completely fine. Once you feel you are ready for uh, setting up a clinic and result oriented ethical rational practice, go for it. 
but if you think you need more time you need to learn you can do md you have a good support that you can go for a higher studies go for completely your choice now the first question i'll arise here is how to register a homeopathic clinic so i have completed my md or my internship and now i want to register a homeopathic clinic or i want to start my clinic of my own so first of all download a form by visiting official website of ministry of ayush government of india and take print out of that form fill it and you can read form filling interaction on official website fill your all information very clear carefully and correctly and clearly it is very much important that you fill all the information appropriately after filling form attach the all required documents paste your photo do a signature and after reviewing your uh, form the information is correct and clear you will get a license to open a homeopathic clinic within one month so you get a time of a one month so is one month mein hum kya karenge hum clinic ki taiyari karenge after getting a license you can open your homeopathic clinic in any city of your demand because you have uh, filled the uh, इन्फॉर्मेशन कि आप कहाँ पर क्लिनिक खोलना चाहते हैं एन अदर थिंग इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इज यू शुड हैव ऑल द डॉक्यूमेंट्स रेडी दे सो मेनी बोलते हैं कि हम थर्ड ईयर से प्रैक्टिस कर सकते हैं वी कैन प्रैक्टिस फॉर्म इंटर्नशिप बहुत अच्छी प्रैक्टिस है बट यू आर नॉट अलाउड इफ इवन इफ यू वॉन्ट टू प्रैक्टिस यू कैन प्रैक्टिस एज एन ऑब्जर्वर जूनियर इंटर्न रेजिडेंट आर एम ओ अंडर एनी लाइसेंस्ड रजिस्टर्ड प्रैक्टिशनर इवन आई हैव I have uh, uh, practiced in my third year, final year, but I was under a senior doctor. I was not the one because even if an internship of our BHMS, we were supposed to tell our RMO that sir, this is the remedy, but we were not allowed to write, prescribe, or sign. What we used to do, we used to make a small chit, write pulsatella points, just because this, attach with the paper, the prescription paper, and send it to the RM. That's how it need to be regulated. because even if you uh, even if you do something wrong or something happened it should not come to you because you are in a learning phase you are not a full fledged doctor now another thing which is very important to open a clinic is physician skill i know this sounds a little weird to you ki what skill i'll tell you as i have said this multiple times you should have a b c if i am a patient and if i am coming to a homeopathic clinic okay I'll get results in eight days, or if it is an acute, I'll get result in two days, three days. But what makes me come back to your clinic again and again is the A, B, C, appearance, behavior, and communication. I tell my interns, I'll tell my junior doctors or people around me. I always them, I'll ask them to be very presentable in their clinic. Look, wow, irrespective of irrespective of what people will think. that why are you so much dress up are you going for a shoot or a modeling or something you need to be very 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 calm charming and good looking aisa nahi lagna chahiye ki chappal mein aa gaya doctor lower t-shirt pehne aa gaye itna paisa kama rahe hain par aap aise uthe aur chale aaye not at all you should be very well dressed okay so this is appearance appearance of a physician and appearance of a clinic क्लिनिक शुड बी अ प्लेस आपको पता है आई डोंट नो हाउ मच ऑफ हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू कैन रिलेट टू मी बट हॉस्पिटल जाने के बाद देर इज अ सम काइंड ऑफ पैल्पिटेशन और एंगजाइटी वी गेट इज इन टेट हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू अग्री विद मी आई गेट बींग एन एम डी फिजिशियन इवन इफ आई गो टू हॉस्पिटल फॉर एनी ऑफ माई रिलेटिव और एनी ऑफ माई पेरेंट और एनी वन आई फील दैट स्मेल द एम्बियंस नो मैटर हाउ वर्ल्ड क्लास फाइव स्टार हॉस्पिटल इट इज बट वी फाइंड वी फील अ काइंड ऑफ एंगजाइटी an anticipation unlike your clinic so your clinic should be built the color combination uh, the lights the ambience it should calm the patient as soon as entering this i have learned very recently so the appearance of a doctor and appearance of a clinic is very very important you can reach out to designer interior designer brand person to design your clinic a little small investment can get a big change your clinic should be a place where people should feel calm calmer even if they have to wait for 30 minutes for the appointment they should feel relaxed that we are at perfectly correct place this is the place 
it should not be like they'll be having palpitation and anxiety for uh, for waiting for 30 minutes uh, our turn our turn our turn it should not like this number two comes to the behavior behavior of a doctor plays a very very essential role not just the doctor but your staff your pharmacist your receptionist train your staff to be very very polite and calm i i, I tell my juniors i tell my interns always be smiling no matter how much pain you're going through no no matter if if it's your bad day your tire got punctured or you are late or you're not you know uh, today you're not looking up to the mark or uh, your patient is uh, not giving you the result or your medicine is not giving the result that's okay as soon as patient comes to you you should be very smiling very serene a calmness on your face no matter what you are going through because what patient is coming to you a person is coming to you is is what he's coming for is he has came for a treatment but treatment when when treatment uh, treatment started not not when you just prescribe the medicine but as soon as when he enters your clinic okay so uh, there are so many examples of uh, clinic i have seen so many doctors they have a lovely lovely ambience of their clinic okay so uh, third is come c c is communication how you talk to your patient it is not just about the doctors you need to train i'm telling this again and again your receptionist your pharmacist your junior doctors or those uh, interns who are taking case for you they should have a very good communication skill they should be a very good listeners you know i know extrovert doctors or uh, uh, easy going doctors it is very easy for them to carry away the patient but you need to be a very good listener this quality i have learned very big time because i am an extrovert for me it was very difficult to listen to a patient i used to ask leading questions acha acha aisa hota hai kya in a hurry to just confirm the medicine i am not listening to the patient very carefully in my internship and i i used to realize this big time that what i am doing is not appropriate i am inhibiting the patient to express i am reflecting my emotions over patient i'm asking leading questions or my energy is superimposing the energy of a patient so your communication skills you should learn communication skills how to be how to remain calm and polite okay i'll tell you on saturday evening i go to a charitable trust and we have set up i told you a dermatological department so the low social economic status people they they don't know that skin complaints they take a little bit of time when especially it is comes to melasma or pigmentation so she was uh, there was a lady uh, last week she came for a, a dark pigmentation all over the face and they have a habit of uh, you know applying steroid cream or such creams for suppression and they get visible results with the modern medicine huh but as soon as they stop it they get the complaints get returned so i prescribed her medicine two weeks back and i and i was very much okay with this that medicine is not going to do any magic it is a science it is not a black magic right that she will get a lovely face in just one week she asked me any tube or cream to apply i said don't apply any just just apply sunscreen nothing else so she came and she came screaming all the way hospital porch lobby and to my cabin are ye kya kar diya my my face has become more dark and i was little scared because that area was not mine it was a charitable trust area and she could get number of people you know for doing tod phod in the hospital and she was behaving very rude ye kya kar diya mere chehre ko aur aisa hai aisa hai so i was little scared but but the reaction is important i called her i called her i made her sit i asked for a glass of water for her and i asked madam what happened kya hua she was like mera chehra dekho pehle wale doctor jo dawai dete the ek hafte mein chehra saaf ho jata tha mere to ye jhaiye mere to bahut bad gayi hain aapne dawai diya then i counseled her i convinced her how homeopathic medicine works what wrong she was doing by applying steroids on her face why her complaints you know coming back what wrong she was doing with her skin care routine and how much time it will take and how much scope homeopathy has with it after 10 minutes 15 minutes of good counseling she was convinced she took 
फिफ्टीन डेज ऑफ वर्ल्ड बेस्ट मेडिसिन सेकेंड बेस्ट मेडिसिन इन चिले सो दैट्स हाउ दैट्स हाउ यू नो वी नीड टू रिएक्ट दिट इज ऑल अबाउट आवर कम्युनिकेशन एन अदर थिंग वी नीड टू बी वेरी मच पंक्चुअल आई टेल यू वन थिंग वेन आई वॉज डूइंग एम डी सो स्टूडेंट्स यूज टू कम लेट फॉर मीटिंग फॉर क्लास फॉर ओ पी डी आई पी डी आवर प्रिंसिपल सर आई आई मीन वेरी डेप्थ टू डॉक्टर डी वी शर्मा सर प्रिंसिपल ऑफ डीम डॉक्टर डी वाई पाटिल होम्योपैथिक मेडिकल कॉलेज ही यूज टू से इफ यू कैनॉट अटेंड कॉलेज ऑन टाइम आई वंडर हाउ यू सपोज टू बी अटेंड योर क्लिनिक ऑन टाइम एंड इफ यू आर नॉट टाइम इन योर ऑन टाइम इन योर क्लिनिक यू वोट बी एबल टू गेट गुड नंबर ऑफ पेशेंट्स being students some of us have taken it seriously and some of us have not taken it seriously you know the 20s the late 20s and you know considering ourselves as a md residents he used to say how you are at your work how dedicated you are at your work shows how dedicated and how good you are at your personal life so your work behavior reflects your personal life too and now i can feel it how appropriate and how apt he was so punctuality is a something you know which is which is very much essential not just for you for your staff your interns your doctors in case you are late definitely your doctor you you might lag somewhere or the other inform your staff tell your patients your doctor is late by 20 minutes your doctor is stuck in a case your doctor is on the way be very transparent if i uh, talk more about uh, as i've told you you know the dress code so if you have scrubs in your clinic that's completely okay everyone wearing the scrubs even i am very much fond of scrubs but you should be dressed up very properly every day every damn day you should dress up very properly you should not wear slippers in your clinic ke kuch bhi pehne aur aise aakar chale gaye aake baith gaye are mera kaam to pen chalane ka hai meri to dawai kaam karti hai when you are starting your practice it is not about your prescription your prescription your medicine will work after 8 days but your appearance will work on the same damn minute you enter the cabin okay another thing is Uh, which is very much essential for opening a clinic is your clinical competency why i keep on emphasizing that go to district hospital see 100 patients a day just because to polish your clinical knowledge there is a book called das a clinical uh, a book of clinical skills surgery as das study it amazing book is one of my most favorite clinical book is after hutchinson hutchinson is also very good it will teach you how to examine a breast lump this is the sphere where we homeopaths lack we even don't know whether it is a cyst or a lipoma ah, growth thiu ja uska ek bahut behtareen example deti hu main two days ago i asked a question in the story that a female uh, is coming to me with the two month of menorrhagia she has been bleeding from 22 october what will be approach of your case can you believe what answers i got i didn't even posted mujhe sharm aa rahi thi because there is all those all are my fellow homeopaths are my homeopathy hills family what answers i got take totality give medicine acute totality constitutional constitutional lm potency thales bhi barsa sikel kor i am getting this answer are wait 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 hold on i asked the approach aap logo mein se kisi ne bhi ye janne ki koshish ki what is the age of the patient how age is important in cases of menorrhage आप में से किसी ने भी ये जानने की कोशिश की वेदर शी वॉज मैरिड अनमैरिड किसी ने एक भी सवाल पूछा हो किसी ने नहीं पूछा मैंने पोस्ट नहीं किया आंसर यू वॉन्ट बिलीव आई एम आस्किंग अ क्वेश्चन ड्रॉप इन द कॉमेंट सेक्शन इफ यू नो इट द लेडी वॉज ऑफ ट्वेंटी सेवन ईयर्स और ट्वेंटी सिक्स ईयर ओल्ड एंड आई ऑलरेडी गेव हर थेलेस पी वर्सा पेस्टोरिस एंड सीकेल कॉर because i was treating for like 15 days i have changed the medicine as well and after giving thalespi varsa she was getting more bleeding more bleeding started more the it, it became profuse to abhi mujhe kya karna chahiye what should i do anyone 
कंसिडरिंग हर शी इज मैरिड ओके अभी क्या एक ने तो बोला भी था मैम यूएसडी कराओ बहुत सारे यूएसडी कराने पे ना ड्यू भी रहता है यूएसडी में कुछ नहीं मिलता बहुत बहुत सारे डॉक्टर्स ये बात जानते हैं देर इज इट इज कॉल्ड डिसफंक्शनल यूटोराइन ब्लीडिंग यू वोट गेट एनीथिंग इन दट वर्सन क्या करना चाहिए एनी वन प्लीज ड्रॉप इन द कॉमेंट सेक्शन लेट मेक लेट्स मेक इट अ इंटरक्टिव सेशन क्या इन्वेस्टिगेशन वॉट इन्वेस्टिगेशन डॉक्टर अनुश्री हिस्ट्री ऑफ ओसीपल्स ओके देर वॉज नो सच हिस्ट्री ऑफ ओसीपल्स हिस्ट्री ठीक है कुछ नहीं है हिस्ट्री में कुछ नहीं है बोल रही है कि आई हैव टेकन एलोपैथिक ट्रीटमेंट वो ओसी पीपल्स लेती हूँ मैं तीन महीने की तीन महीने लेती हूँ पीरियड ठीक हो जाता है फिर से मैन आई स्टार्ट ब्रीडिंग आई स्टार्ट ब्रीडिंग लाइक दिस अभी क्या हेयर वी लैक हेयर वी लैक वी होम्योपैथ लैक आप में से किसी ने भी ये नहीं कहा कि उसका यूरिन प्रेगनेंसी टेस्ट होना चाहिए मेनो रेजिया फॉर टू मंथ्स कुड बी कुड बी अ केस ऑफ अ मिस्ड अबॉर्शन और इनकम्प्लीट अबॉर्शन हेयर वी लैक I got the UPT done of the patient. Here comes the importance of clinical competency. See again, I'm getting the answers. Try to stop the bleeding. अरे हाँ, बाबा हाँ, देंगे, दवाई देंगे ना? क्यों नहीं देंगे? दवाई लेने तो आई है patient. उससे पहले क्या? दवाई दिया? नहीं रुक रहे periods. अरे blood के color पर ही हैं अभी हम. I hope you got my point. So my point here is, uh, it is all about <coughs> clinical competency. Another thing is ethical behavior, है ना? It is very, very, very important. Okay. Uh, if you are a male doctor and you are, uh, you know, examining a female patient, so there should be a female attendant along with you. I wonder someday a female will come to you and she will <coughs> accuse you. of uh, harassing or sexually uh, uh, harassing um, that this doctor this male doctor has sexually harassed me uh, there was no one but still he examined my abdomen or he has examined me pervaginally or whatever it is so a nurse or a female attendant should be present for female as well okay so you should know your duty your accountability and you should be responsible enough to take charge of your calls of your acts this is very very important agar aap se kuch galat hua hai agar aap se kuch galat hua hai to definitely take a charge and fix it apologize you need not to cover it if something you know will happen to you it's okay we are humans we can make mistakes so we should have a humanistic value there's a question so what after after upt positive dnc simple homeopathy has no scope in such obstetric cases that's what i'm saying no your scopes and limitations if upt is positive in a patient who is bleeding for two months get the sonography done you what you get you'll get a remnant of conception bas dnc is the solution simple you're not just homeopath you're a physician you're a clinician you're a consultant okay another important thing for setting up a, a homeopathic clinic is you should have a good relation with other doctors of other systems lab people seniors specialist everyone i'll tell you another case 3 days ago a patient came to me he used to came for allergic rhinitis so i i need to got some uh, some of his blood work done so his hemoglobin was 10.2 so i was little worried a man who is 40 year old and we usually we don't get such a low hemoglobin in men we usually get 13 hai right? na 12 ke upar so he was like hey, mujhe na bleeding ho rahi hai so i asked bleeding so per rectal bleeding per rectal bleeding since 2 months and that to painless Do you know what it can turn out to be a painless per rectal bleeding in 40 year old male So I immediately referred him to a gastroenterologist for colonoscopy His BP was I remember his BP was 180 by 100 So you should know what are this this is our clinical competence and a relation with the good other good doctors hai na 
आप लोगों ने बहुत सारे वी हैव सीन अ केसेस दोज हुआ डायग्नोज विद एफ एन एस एंड बायोपसी ऑफ कार्सिनोमा कमिंग टू यू बट दिस इज सच अ बिग थिंग फॉर अ होम्योपैथ एंड इट शुड बिकम नॉर्मल दैट वी डायग्नोज अ केस ऑफ अ सार्कोमा और अ कार्सिन फॉर दैट यू नीड टू स्टडी स्टडी दैट क्लिनिकल सर्जिकल क्लिनिकल सर्जरी बुक ऑफ दास यू लर्न एवरीथिंग डॉक्टर भगवान द रिपोर्ट हैज नॉट केम येट कोलोनोस्कोपी स्केड्यूल दिस विंसडे विल लेट यू नो विल पोस्ट द केस ओके एन अदर इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग इज रेफरिंग द केस सो यू शुड नो वेन टू रेफर द केस एंड वेन टू कीप द केस दिस इज वेरी 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 इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर यू पेशेंट शुड भी इंपॉर्टेंट हिज ट्रीटमेंट इज इंपॉर्टेंट नॉट योर ईगो डोंट सेटिस्फाई योर ईगो वाइल जस्ट कीपिंग द पेशेंट एंड ट्राइंग आउट द मेडिसिन एंड मेडिसिन एन अदर थिंग you should be very much well versed with your principles of homeopathy see i tell you principle of homeopathy will not change even if you are treating an acute case or an emergency case or if you are treating a, a chronic case the similia law the similimum the minimum dose this will the drug dynamization will remain same for no matter what case you are treating aisa nahi hai ki it's an emergency case to principles of homeopathy will change how to make rapport with other specialist and doctor meeting them communication communication is the key go meet them meet with them simple and you'll make uh, and once you'll start uh, giving results and once you start diagnosing the case correctly definitely they'll be knowing you by their name by your face by your work definitely another thing uh, what i was talking about is yes the principles of homeopathy you should read aphorism 83 so some things you will get very much clear i'll not tell you what is written in the 83 aphorism you read it okay now the question came ke ha theek hai clinic khol lenge but what is required jaise ke maine bola ke bhagwan ko bhi bhakt ki zarurat hoti hai na bhagwan bhagwan kaise banta hai bhaktos to aise hi the question comes how to get more patient footfall बहुत सारे स्टूडेंट्स मुझे पूछते हैं मैम ज्यादा पेशेंट्स कैसे आएंगे हाउ विल स्टार्ट गेटिंग गुड नंबर ऑफ पेशेंट्स कितना टाइम वेट करना पड़ेगा सो फर्स्ट मेक दिस थिंग वेरी मच क्लियर इन योर माइंड ऐसा नहीं होने वाला कि वंस यू स्टार्ट वंस यू ओपन द क्लिनिक ऑन फर्स्ट ऑफ जनवरी एंड फ्रॉम सेकेंड जनवरी थर्ड जनवरी यू विल गेट हंड्रेड पेशेंट्स अडे ट्वेंटी पेशेंट्स अडे गुड थिंग सर्टनली टेक्स टाइम गिव योर क्लिनिक मिनिमम थर्टी थ्री वीक्स थर्टी थ्री मंथ्स नॉट वीक्स थर्टी थ्री मंथ्स ओके सो एन अदर थिंग इज वॉट ब्रिंग्स मोर पेशेंट एंड पेशेंट इज द क्योर रेट हाउ मच पेशेंट यू हैव ट्रीटेड बिकॉज वन पेशेंट ब्रिंग्स टेन पेशेंट एन अदर थिंग यू शुड हैव अ गुड क्लिनिकल मेथड्स यू शुड नो हाउ टू एग्जाम इन अ पेशेंट है ना यू शुड नो इफ यू इफ अ पेशेंट इज कमिंग टू यू विद एसाइटिस सो यू शुड नो हाउ टू एग्जामिन एन एसाइटिस पेशेंट योर प्रैक्टिस शुड बी एविडेंस बेस्ड दे शुड बी प्रॉपर डॉक्यूमेंटेशन ऑफ अ पेशेंट यू आर ट्रीटिंग इफ पेशेंट इज पेशेंट सर रिटर्न में ले लो पेशेंट शुड नॉट विदड्रॉ एनी ड्रग डिपेंड लाइफ डिपेंडेंट ड्रग्स विद योर ट्रीटमेंट पेशेंट इफ इज नॉट ही इज नॉट विलिंग फॉर फर्दर हायर इन्वेस्टिगेशन रिटर्न में ले लो It should not come to you. Three days ke baad, I have seen patient, uh, you know, telling about that uh, I am having chest pain, chest pain, chest pain, and you ask to get the ECG or 2D code done, and he is not doing anything. Ghar ja ke hi collapse. People will ask you, you are the family doctor. How come he collapsed as soon as you? You have not given any medicine. Arey patient ne investigation nahi karaya. So it happens big time. So proper documentation is very much important. even if you are uh, issuing medical certificate health certificate sickness certificate you should be having a copy of that prop this that's the power of pow, uh, proper documentation case records investigation reports good legible prescription acha this uh, question comes ke uh, ma'am bahut sare homeopath prescription nahi dete hai very 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 uh, important question it came up see you should know the right and duties of a doctor and a patient as well so sharing prescription giving prescription comes among a right of a patient jo homeopath nahi dete hain 
नहीं देते तो नहीं देते उनका चल रहा है दे आर वेरी मच अरे दे आर वेरी एडमिट नहीं देते आई हैव गॉट सो मेनी पेशेंट्स फ्रॉम अदर होम्योपैथ्स दो हैव चेंज द सिटी और द लोकेशन एंड दे आर डूइंग वेल सो आई आज दैम क्यू यू कंटिन्यू विद द सेम डॉक्टर ओके है ना इट इज एथिकल प्रैक्टिस वाई टू चेंज द फिजिशियन वेन वेन योर प्रीवियस मेडिसिन वॉज प्रीवियस मेडिसिन वॉज वर्किंग फाइन so i have seen physicians they are not disclosing the remedy even to the other fellow homeopath why usko medicine pata chal jayegi to wo patient uske paas chala jayega are patient ke bare mein socho don't think about yourself once you start practicing rationally you will get more patients why to take why to uh, consult the same patient again and again for years get the new faces of patients every year after year new families so people were asking me ma'am prescription nahi dete i give prescription you can get my prescription but always write two things number one not for medical legal purpose number two in case you self medicate this medicine apart from given dosages or without consulting a homeopathic doctor you will be responsible for the consequences okay simple and give the prescription they can take prescription because we know that only not just the one medicine is going to work we'll be needing a next complementary medicine there should be next second prescription hai na aur mujhe nahi lagta this is a good practice of not revealing how how we will learn na and we are working for the betterment of the patient not for our betterment right so i'll tell you what are the qualities of a good prescription it should be legible it should be detailed even if a patient is coming to you or he is getting better or treated write the discharge summary i usually give this so many patients i live in a cosmopolitan city so patient usually they travel from pune to bangalore to delhi i write i write it so and so patient age female came to me with a complaint of this 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 known case of hypertension she has been treated with this set of drugs followed by this she is doing well with this drug in acute she requires this thanks for the referral yeah please kindly refer naam likha stamp lagaya not for medical legal purpose they think simple so this is this is very 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 important i must say apart from this in the prescription you should write the clear explanation of how medicine should be taken medicine ka naam to likha nahi bataya nahi kuch likha bhi nahi kaise nahi so write four pills tds half cup of water कैसे लेना है आउंस ऑफ स्पून ऑफ वाटर मदर टिंचर है कैसे लेना राइट इट वेरी क्लियरली आई एम सो ग्लैड एंड ब्लेस्ड माई पेशेंट सेज दैट आई एम अमंग द फ्यू डॉक्टर्स हुज राइटिंग इज वेरी मच ऑब्वियस दे कैन दे कैन इवन अ पेशेंट कैन रीड वॉट इज रिटर्न इन अ प्रिस्क्रिप्शन ओके आई हैव सो मेनी क्वेश्चन शेल आई मूव फॉरवर्ड और टेक क्वेश्चन टेल मी because i have to finish it in next 20 minutes i have clinic as well please drop in the comment section shall i take your questions or uh, shall i uh, continue yes i reveal name of a medicine to patient in a prescription right to right placebo <clears throat> okay we'll move forward move move forward okay so next we'll cover what are the basic requirements hmm basic requirements as as i've told you you can hire an interior designer or a brand person your clinic should have good light ventilation there should be an examination room there should be a medicine dispensing room fee collection should be done alag another thing okay another thing is registers and documentation to be done there should be proper waste collection and dustbin okay so you should know uh, i i'm sure you might have studied in um, uh, practice uh, this uh, social and preventive medicine the color codes of dustbin so you should take care of that as well there should be sink water tap and toilet in your clinic this is basic you should have in your clinic another very important thing is your fees should be written on the reception ऐसा बहुत सारे लोग नहीं करते हैं पेशेंट आता है दिखाता है उसके बाद पेशेंट बोलता है ओ माई गॉड योर फीस इज 500, 500 फॉर एक्यूट क्रॉनिक जो भी है 
for your first consultation be it chronic first consultation for acute if you are keeping all equal if you are keeping if you are uh, you know dividing it in a follow up write it down as soon as patient enter in the clinic or he uh, reaches to reception he should know that consultation fees or follow up consultation fees of this doctor is 500 300 whatever it is so this comes among the right of a patient to know the fees before consulting a doctor another very important thing is your pharmacy uh, if you are working in a polyclinic so your entrance of your clinic and your pharmacy should be different there should not be one entrance for both ki aap ghuse pehle pharmacy hai fir clinic hai it should not be like this the entrance should be different for both hmm? another thing your clinic should i i really um, appreciate if your clinic is under cctv surveillance this will protect doctor this will protect doctor uh, from any malpractice or any accused if a patient accused doctor ke aisa kiya hamare sath so you have a cctv surveillance another thing uh, you are uh, very much uh, and write a post aap cctv ke surveillance mein you are under surveillance of a cctv what benefit you will get if you will be protected from uh, accusation ke aapko koi doctor koi bhi patient cannot accuse you ke doctor has done this doctor has done that another if you want to write an article or if you want to present a case so this brings a consent from a patient because aapke clinic mein likha hua hai ke you are an under cctv uh, surveillance someone is asking have you worked in an allopathic hospital in initial days before opening yes i have worked in district hospital for 2 years in my third year and final year for the beginners what should be the fee structure for both acute and chronic case see a uh, fees you should decide it should be based on two things number one your skill what you can provide to patient and number two in which locality you are so for example if you are uh, practicing in a rural area and you are keeping your fees 1000 2000 3000 there is no point and also if you are working in a posh area somewhere where you know that people are so you should know what other fellow doctors they are charging what you are serving and is or your people or public is capable enough to pay your fees ha na they should not prefer food over the medicine so it should be very nominal i request you to keep fees very nominal once you start getting more number of patients money won't be any uh, you know long no longer any problem to you you'll get more 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 once you start giving the results so my, this should not be the uh, problem next i'll be talking about the basic equipments you should have in your clinic number 1 stethoscope bp apparatus i prefer mercury type i am not at all fan of uh, automatic uh, sphygmomanometer percussion hammer torch if possible you can have otoscope or ent set with a head mirror weighing scale if you are very much well versed with the uh, iv sets or uh, like uh, if you are, if you can admit a patient if you have a day care so iv set iv stands any foreign border remover if you want ambu bag even sub can have defibrillator also in your clinic if you want few physicians few consultant also keep ecg but in my opinion keeping ecg in your clinic is not a good idea because what happens is so many times if patient comes to you with a chest pain or feels you feel like it's a dyspepsia and you take ecg it is normal but patient ghar ja ke collapses sometimes it is not visible in ecg as well so i don't think it's a good idea for longer run of your practice to keep ecg if you want and if you are an expert or if you have a cardiologist in house go for it but if you think that you can miss it somewhere better don't keep it refer to investigation or lab center or a radiology center yes pulse oximeter how can i forget <laughs> should be kept a very handy in your clinic now we'll be talking about uh, the reception area should i go for the interior designs as well or should we move forward okay i'll tell you in a brief so if if i talk about the reception area and the interior design the setup should impress the patient and calm down the patient the lobby should be stress free good post should be there good music system or good lights should be there soft music can be played in your clinic you know as a healing as a part of a healing okay attention should be given to ventilation the air quality there should be no noise 
proper cabinets should be made uh, for keeping the files and the records design should look spacious and comfortable go for a lighter colors of the clinic white pink uh, uh, sky blue light green don't go for blue bla blue black and uh, grays because it will make look compact clinic will look compact okay uh, uh, walls if you are painting the walls they should be very cost effective and easily to clean because uh, if you have a pediatric uh, age of group na, they try to spoil the walls so it should be very easily cleaned as well and before you start your own clinic visit few clinics or take a help of an interior designer as well now there is a facility of case recording as well this is a new concept of clinic you can have a paperless clinic completely digitalizing your uh, case taking your prescription everything give more time and attention to first patient you should build a good connection and relation with the patient as soon as he comes for a first consultation you can also have a tie up with a small nearby hospitals in case you need to refer a patient or admit a patient severe dehydration you have given medicine but you, you know there is a need to give a saline to patient okay now uh, there is a question how to get internship in district hospital after completion of uh, BHMS and PG course that's very very simple you go to a district hospital write an application I am this 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 with the name I have completed my BHMS I want to do internship I don't want money I don't want anything just allow me and get it signed by the CMO of uh, district hospital and you are free to practice but you need to be very punctual the doctors in district hospital they are very strict you, you might feel that they are very ruthless they are very rude but they are very 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 strict once you start going for a one month two month regular in a uh, district hospital they will definitely uh, teach you like anything and that to a pure clinical teaching on the patients only so you need to be very dedicated and you know you should show perseverance in your act now shall I tell you um, about hiring the staff how to hire a staff okay we'll, we'll start we'll continue so when it comes to hiring a staff there should be three crucial factors you should take care which is the compatibility education and experience you should discuss and clarify on the salary the compensation benefits work timing and review their performance give them incentives at a regular interval you need to address their issues as well if the staff is having any, any problem you know you should not uh, be very negligent towards the, any complaint raised by them, any query raised by them. Okay, you can hire freshers as well. You can train them. Okay, you can. Uh, uh, I have seen so many people. They are taking support from their family, training your family to dispense medicine, take care of the pharmacy. But still, you need a pharmacist, a qualified pharmacist. For license as well if you are uh, opening a medical shop as well or if you are uh, pharmacy is of uh, polyclinic pharmacy next comes the homeopathic pharmacist so he should be very trustworthy he or she he should keep on checking the reliability of the medicine the expiry date the stock he should keep an eye on uh, cash dealing or if it is an online dealing a dealing with the wholesaler and retailer of the medicine he should take care and keep on check on all the bills as well he should take care of a proper stickers and pre-packing of the medicine which is required before uh, uh, you know dispensing it to the patient when it comes to medicine there should be no compromise in the quality the bottle should be sealed 30 ml bottle is enough the size of the bottle is enough to start a practice always use a very genuine vehicle when you see the vehicle is turning yellow or it is uh, some kind of dif different odor is coming you should discard the vehicle quality packing of uh, bottles do we need computer generalized bill yes yes you can use patient asked bills from me as well i provide bill okay now comes the fee structure so there is no fixed uh, fee charged by your doctor some charge fee less to attract more patient while other charge more and uh, those who want to see just limited four or five patients but that too depends upon their experience so I really request you to charge very reasonably 
to the patient highlight the benefit and salient feature of your service sometimes patient complain that charges are high in your clinic when compared to other clinics as compared to what facility you provide now there are so many questions uh, about uh, the clinic chains or specialty chain so this involves when you talk about a polyclinic it involves sharing your time space equipment by two or more doctors practicing independently at different different time although you are occupying the same common space so there should be an issue on medical purchase the maintenance of uh, uh, the cabin or the chambers so you need to prepare a contract and you should be very clear about the deal and focus on your own area where you excel you need not to poach the patient you should make you should draw a line these are my patient these are my patient okay so you should work out over expenses as well any investment for future you are going to do for clinic if you are uh, using uh, uh, if you are planning to do some charity with your polyclinic you should talk to them with uh, according to them as well and one of the very win win situation for uh, doing charity and getting more patient is uh, conducting free health checkup camps it brings patients as well and it helps patients especially of a low socio economic status to reach out to doctors that do in a free consultation always invest 15% of your expenses towards advertisement never ever use your credit card for building up your clinic you should not use the money which you don't owe always use debit card use the money which you already have not the money which someone else is holding what is credit card is so you should take care of uh, these things now there is a question ke if we have already a clinic and the doctors or the owner is moving what about buying a running clinic already a clinic is running okay and uh, you need to buy it number 1 evaluate the practice ke jo pichla wala doctor tha how he was doing how many patient he was having check on these few uh, follow uh, facts before you buy it uska practice kaisa tha it was active or flourishing how he was what was the financial status of the clinic in last 3 years what was his shortcoming why he is moving out of the clinic what was the reputation of the clinic what is the difference in net and gross practice in terms of income what was the average fees he was charging from the patient okay so i hope uh, this was up next 5 minutes we'll be taking up the questions before we sum up our uh, today's session there's a question do we need to do physical examination of every patient for their satisfaction you can do that no problem there is no harm of examining each and every patient but it should not be like this that if patient is coming with the pain in leg and you are examining eye or abdomen so it should be <laughs> according to the location next question how to deal with if happens patient does not do investigation and then blame physician write on their prescription patient is not willing write it there are so many patients who force me please get my scan done please get my x ray done i write it on the paper on demand from patient simple write it on the prescription give it give it to them right away make a record to you with yourself that patient is not ref- uh, tell the patient should we take up observation in fourth year now yes definitely big fallacy all homeopath lag most of the senior doctors don't reveal their medicine name even i feel so much bad about this maybe they are scared if they are practicing poly crest or if they are not able to justify why they are prescribing the medicine okay you don't you need not to become one of them simple as that <laughs> do you reveal medicine name to patient in prescription yes so many patient they came to me ke doctor saab uh, khansi thi teen din aconite liye humne 
थोड़ा ठीक हुआ पूरा ठीक नहीं हुआ अभी क्या करना है दैट्स ओके दे हैव देर ओन ओल्ड प्रिस्क्रिप्शन दे आस्क मी मैम ये पुरानी वाली दवाई पड़ी है ये ले ले क्या अर्ने का पड़ी है ले ले क्या दे आस्क मी बिफोर टेक कैन यू प्लीज शेयर फॉर्मेट्स वॉट काइंड ऑफ फॉर्मेट्स यू वॉन्ट वॉट इफ द गूगल सर्च अबाउट प्लेसिबो इफ सिंगल डोज इज गिवन सो डोंट राइट ना प्लेसिबो वाई यू राइटिंग प्लेसिबो आई तो राइट कैंट वन एम बोगर थर्टी हैनेमेनियन जीरो बाय वन वाई टू राइट प्लेसिबो ओके should we take up observation are i take it right away i think i've taken most of the questions if any question can i join your clinic for internship ma'am how can i join send your resume heals homeopathy@gmail.com ऑनलाइन कंसल्टेशन अलग सेशन ले लेंगे ऑनलाइन कंसल्टेशन के लिए मैम एज अ थर्ड ईयर स्टूडेंट व्हाट शुड आई डू फ्रॉम नाउ फॉर डूइंग होम्योपैथिक प्रैक्टिस इन फ्यूचर यू जॉइन अ डिस्ट्रिक्ट हॉस्पिटल सी हंड्रेड पेशेंट्स अ डे फॉर टू इयर्स गो टू एवरी डिपार्टमेंट ऑप्थेलमोलॉजी ई सर्जरी रेस्पिरेटरी चेस्ट फिजिशियन कार्डियोलॉजिस्ट पीडियाट्रिक Spare three months in gynae ops department. Go right away before practicing homeopathy. Be a doctor first, a good doctor first. Once you are a good doctor, and have you seen that all the good homeopaths were good clinicians first, or they have done MBBS first or MD first, and then they have become homeopath. Just because because they are clinical examination, they are very much clinically competent. Please share tips on advertising. If you want, we can conduct another live session, and I'll get the best person. I'm not the best person to tell you about the branding, so I can get someone how to advertise a homeopathy clinic or your practice. During MD, you can practice. Yes, if your college of MD is allowing, if you have not signed any NOC that you won't practice or you'll be only serving, you can practice in your MD. No problem. Views on patient taking allopathy as well as homeopathy. If it is a life dependent drug, it is very much mandatory or essential. Do not leave or withdraw homeopath uh, allopathic medicine, modern medicine suddenly. Taper it off only when your homeopathic consultant says. And if patient is on ecosprin, na, to be very honest, very, very dirty truth it is. I have never asked patient to give up over ecosprin if he has undergone any cardiac surgery before. In polyclinic, how do we have walk-in patients? Like you have in other clinic. Should we stop previous medications? Thyroid during after? No, 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 no. Don't ask a patient. Don't never ever stop previous hypertensive drugs or uh, diabetes drugs or uh, thyroxin. You taper them off if you are giving medicine for them. MD is compulsory for practice? Not at all. Your BHMS is uh, BHMS degree is compulsory. Mam can you do live separate live session scope of work online while pursuing md if someone has no option left for live clinic setup definitely online consultation please reflect your views are iske liye alag session karenge apan log how to consult patient outside india and ship medicines it's very simple there is a site called paypal you can take use of that paypal and get your fees You can ship medicine. What you need is your passport, patient's passport, your Aadhaar card, prescription, bills, and you can ship the medicine across the world. No problem at all. Can we give IV fluids and multivitamins? Yes, of course. Share your prescription once. ठीक है. कर देंगे story पे share. What are the basic medicines do we need as a beginner? यार जो तुम इस्तेमाल करते हो, polycrest से शुरू करो. If you're giving rare medicine, my to have rare medicine, my to have biochemic as well. If I if I go for a new startup, how to increase walk-in patient in polyclinic? I told you the branding, the marketing, it should be result oriented. Can we prescribe only on polycrest? Ha, huh, of course. If you think, can we increase AMH level in women? Sepia six C can help and folliculinum. Read it. But if the age has is progressing, it is a little difficult. check for the lifestyle as well 
कौन सी कंपनी की मेडिसिन करनी चाहिए यार मैं तो एस बी एल की यूज़ करती हूँ फ्यू रेकवेक सेंट जॉन इज ऑल्सो गुड द मदर टीचर्स वेन एंड हाउ टू गिव बायो केमिक्स आई तो यूजली आई तो यूजली गिव बायो केमिक वेन आई कैन नॉट राइट प्लेसिबो सो बेटर यू गिव वेन आई एम गोइंग टू गिव द प्रिस्क्रिप्शन सो आई राइट वन डोज ऑफ सल्फर फॉलोड बाई केलकेरिया फ्लू सिक्स एक्स फोर फोर टैबलेट थ्री टाइम्स ए डे सो दिट ब्रिंग्स रेस्पेक्ट टू मी दट पेशेंट दैट होम्योपैथी इज नॉट अ प्लेसिबो साइंस सो इफ यू कैन प्रिस्क्राइब मल्टी विटामिन विटामिन डी कैल्सोफेरॉल so why cannot we prescribe calcarea for can we conduct blood test camp in polyclinic yes you can definitely ma'am please share format for patient traveling to abroad what should we include when we have given placebo write it on the prescription now whatever you are giving how to taper eco spin patient bp stroke staying normal from last two years you should talk to their cardiologist first before tapering off and how patient is doing and then you slowly slowly taper off keep a very uh, you know hawk eye in monitoring patient okay so should we make a separate chart yes definitely you take charts according to your skills okay so uh, i hope you have all enjoyed the session you have learned you have make notes and next time if you are asking me the same question in the dm how to set up a clinic to watch this igtv video you can save this i'll be dropping a box in the story to let me know if you like the session uh you can also write to me what other online sessions or live sessions you want so definitely i uh, will be conducting live i i'll try to get the best people across the globe for the live session are we responsible if patient comes in a bad condition already and we are not able to help no you should tell the relatives and the patients or definitely or refer uh, to the higher center any rare disease and their treatment in homeopathy book for practice of medicine davidson is good i like davidson hutchison clinical skills by as das thank you so much those who are loving it thank you homeo geek for being there always Welcome welcome thank you so much i am so much overwhelmed with the love you have given but it's the time of signing out see how uh we'll be definitely meeting next week we'll be having a very good live session and a celebrity homeopath is coming stay tuned and uh, keep blessing remember me in your prayers as well and that was a lovely session indeed so uh see you soon next week till then stay fit stay healthy Hope you're getting kids.